Okay, you caught me. I'm not a musician. I actually don't even know how to play the piano. I just like to play around on it. Um, it's because I don't know about you, but I just love music. In fact, every single day when I wake up, there's like some sort of song playing in my head. And actually what I was just playing right there, one day I just woke up and had in my head. Why? Well, because we were designed for music. What do you mean we were designed for music, Pastor Michael? Well, simply this. You and I were designed to worship. Now, there's a bunch of different types of songs. Like some of you probably love um, the Frozen songs or songs from Disney like that that are just happy, fun, let's go get them. Me, on the other hand, man, I love songs that kind of sound a little bit more eerie. I have kind of some of these minors and I'm like... something mysterious about that. There's something that kind of doesn't have answers at the same time. And when I hear something like that, I get drawn into it. You know, the funny thing is, um, when you have songs that sound like with chords that aren't normal, that aren't like happy-go-lucky, it can make a lot of people anxious because they're not used to listening to that type of sound. Well, at least so they think. You see, because sometimes, friends, do you know what we do? We listen to all the negative things around us. Like we can get so drawn in to everything that's happening that doesn't make sense and we forget about the things that are good, that are awesome, that do make sense. You know, there's some great Psalms in the Bible and David reminds us over and over and over again that our job is to bless the Lord, to praise his name. Let everything that has breath do what? Praise the Lord. It's hard to praise the Lord when we're being drawn into negativity, isn't it? It's hard to praise the Lord when everything around us sounds so depressing or dark or wrong. Here's what I wanna encourage you today. Stop, take a moment, turn off the negative, turn off the things that don't sound right, but you can't just stop there. You have to do something verbal. You have to praise the Lord. Sing a song from your heart. Let him know you love him. Let him know he is good. Why? Because that's the God we serve. There's an old band named Bleach that I used to listen to when I was about 20 something years old, right? And they had this song called Knocked Out. In, in, the, in the bridge towards the end of the song, he says this, I will sing at the top of my lungs. I will dance even if I'm the only one. And he's giving this song to the Lord to say, look, nothing's going to stop me. I'm still going to sing with all my heart. And I hope he hears my heart. Because guys, it's so easy for us to get into the negative and the dark, but sing a song of praise today. Here's my challenge for you. I know you probably just took a quick break from doing homework. I know um, you're kind of like worn out and tired, but turn some praise on for a minute. Don't do anything else, but out loud speak praises over our awesome God. Sing them to him. Sing something from your heart. I'm just going to lead us right now in this as we close. We love you guys. We can't wait to see you again. Praise the Lord today. God, you are good. God, you are holy. God, you are just. There's nobody like you, Father. Thank you that you're seated on the throne, Lord. Thank you that you're Lord of all things. Thank you that you're above all things. In fact, David says the earth and all that are in it belong to you. Thank Thank you that you hold me in the palm of your hands today, God. Lord, thank you that you know everything about me. Lord, you are so amazing. You're beautiful beyond description. You're holy and just, yet you're right beside us as a friend. You're closer than a neighbor. God, you are so awesome. Thank you for always loving me. Thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you that you've chased after me since the beginning of creation, Lord. Thank you, God, for being me, Lord. Thank you that there is no one like you, that you're above all things. Thank you that you know the thoughts in my